hi you guys welcome back okay so it is time for me to do another shop my stash it's been about a month since i have shot my stash and you know what you guys i am really proud of myself i've been doing really well with my shop my stash stuff every now and then you know i'll sneak in a new item that i got or something you know throughout the month but for the most part i really do stick to using all of the items that I pull from my shop, my stash. Now, I know occasionally I'll get a comment where people are not quite sure what shop my stash is. And it's basically just, you know, exactly what it's called. Shopping my own makeup stash. So because I do have quite a large makeup collection, well, in my opinion, it's large. Um... It helps me to kind of rotate through my makeup items without just using the same things over and over again because I love them and having other items just kind of get lost in the sauce and never getting used and, you know, having a lot of stuff that you forget about. Even though I still forget about stuff, it helps me to rotate. So, yeah, I just wanted to put that out there. Um, if you have <laughs> watched me from when I started doing my Shop My Stashes, I used to hate Shop My Stash because just the thought of only being able to use a certain grouping of products for an extended period of time was not appealing to me at all. But now I actually love it because it makes it easy for me. I sit down, I know what I'm using. And then I get the joy of shopping my stash, you know, when the time comes. So anyways, enough of that. Just wanted to kind of put that out there. Um, let's start going through this stuff. I'll just kind of run through really quickly because it's a lot of stuff. And I plan on shifting everything out this time. There have been a few items in here that I have kept for a couple of shop, shop my stashes because I love them so much. But I'm, I'm truly going to switch everything out with the exception of this Elemis Pro Collagen Rose Facial Oil, <laughs> okay? I was first very hesitant to use this, but since I've started using it, learning how to make it work for me, using it, um, you know, on more drier skin days to kind of help with a little bit of added moisture and stuff like that, I love this stuff and I've also started adding this into the foundations that I use that are a bit more matte or a little too matte for me at a certain period of time. I really like to add just a couple of drops of this and it gives it a more kind of natural, relaxed, a little bit more glowy type look and I really like that. So yeah, this is going to stay like forever and forever. So I'm going to put this over to the side because I'm going to put that right back in my drawer. Now, just going through some more of my skincare items that I pulled. I did pull this tomato serum from, I don't know if that's B-Row, B-Rock. I'm sorry, I don't I don't know what that is. This <laughs> is the uh, brand name. But this I did pick up from the Boxy add-ons. And it was a suggestion from my girl, Lily. She was like, it's bomb. You got to get it. So I got it. I love it absolutely love it and i'm kind of mad because i wish i would have gotten two you know because in the boxy add-ons they only have different things at certain times and so this is pretty expensive so i won't be buying this on my own and i have a quite a bit to last me so i'm happy about that but yeah if i ever come across this on sale i'm definitely gonna grab it this stuff feels amazing on your skin it is very very nourishing moisturizing and i just really like it so yeah i and typically with serums i put them on it's like okay it's fine but this one i actually really really love so i'm gonna switch it out because i'm switching out to all new stuff but i really really love this serum next for my skincare i chose my elf hello hydration face cream love this stuff um it's pretty affordable you know for skincare item elf is typically a more affordable brand like really affordable and i actually really like this cream it's just like a white thick type cream as you can see i'm pretty much almost done this is another item that i'm going to go ahead and just keep i'm going to pull another moisturizer but this will be gone after another maybe one or two shots of it so i'm going to go ahead keep this 
and finish that up. For my primer, I did choose the Farsali Skin Tune Blur. I used to always wonder, like, what is the hype with the Farsali? You know, products get really, really hyped up, and you're like, it is not worth all of that. This stuff is worth the hype. <laughs> it really is. Another item that I got... Um, did I get this in a boxy add-on or did I get this in my boxy charm? Either way, I got it from my boxy. And this stuff really does blur your skin. It smoothed out my pores and just kind of helped my skin to look a little more youthful and airbrushed before I put on my foundation. And I like it. It feels good too. It's not heavy. It is just really, really nice. So this is definitely worth the hype. I hate to switch it out, but yeah, I'm going to switch this out too. Okay, so let's move into foundation. Um, this NARS foundation, this was the new one, the Soft Matte Complete Foundation. I chose the shade Macau Deep Medium, and I wasn't really sure exactly what shade to choose for this, but this worked out just fine. Um, it's just like a hint, I think, lighter than I would like for it to be, but... By the time I put on my powders and bronzers and stuff, it's just fine. So I love this foundation. I mean, I really do. I love the finish of it. I love the color of it. Um, You know, I can wear it just the way it is. And the coverage is really, really good. It just, it looks really nice on my skin. It looks nice, natural, healthy. It is very matte though. I will tell you that if you don't like a matte foundation then you probably won't like this because it is very matte but like I said adding in just a drop of that rose oil makes it perfect if you like just a natural finish foundation it's it just it's really nice so yeah I like this foundation I hate that I'm switching it out but yeah I gotta switch that out now <laughs> This is Beauty Creations. This is a flawless stay foundation, medium to full coverage. I chose the shade FS100. Very, very affordable. I don't remember what I paid for this, but it's very, very inexpensive. Um, I like the coverage. I like the shade. I'll put a little bit here. I like the shade of it. Um, the coverage is crazy. Okay. I mean, crazy coverage. It's, you know, it's a nice shade for me. Um, once I blend it out and everything, it actually is a really nice shade for me. This is really matte. <laughs> okay. It does have a healthy, a nice kind of healthy finish to it. What I don't typically care for with this foundation is just the fact that it's a little bit thicker it's thicker than the NARS, so it feels a little bit heavier. It's a little bit more aggressive of a foundation, but the coverage, really, really good coverage. Yeah, it's if you don't mind a little bit of a thicker formula, you might like this because the coverage is great. And it's not, it's not like drying my skin out. It's not that matte, but with this, I would definitely add a little bit of oil into it as well, just to give it a little bit more slip and movement because... This is a very aggressive foundation. <laughs> so I would say that I like it. If you like matte foundations that are a little bit thicker, then you might like this because this has coverage for days, okay? Like serious coverage. But yeah, I, I, I that wouldn't be one of my first choices to pull from my stash for sure. Okay, so next let's talk about the concealers that I chose. This first one, Rare Beauty. I, I think I might have kept this for two shop my stashes. I'm not sure how long this has been out, but no, I think I added this to my shop my stash and just decided to keep it after I purchased it and tried it out when it dropped. I like this found this concealer. I really do. Um, this concealer, I can't say I'm in love with the applicator because it's kind of hard. It's, you know, a really decent shape applicator. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, the shape of the applicator is cool for application, but it's hard. It's like, it's not really soft and pliable. It's kind of hard. So it's just like a square stick. But as you can see here, the coverage um, 
from this concealer is really nice. It really is. Now, if you blend it out with like a brush or, you know, if you apply your makeup with your finger or something, the coverage stays pretty good. It stays pretty good. It doesn't sheer out too, too much, you know, just a little. But if you blend it out with a sponge, it is going to sheer out a little bit. So the coverage is not going to stay you know as opaque and as thick as when you first apply it a sponge does kind of take away from this quite a bit but it is a very very nice concealer i really don't have any negatives about it i like it a lot i have the shade 430w just in case you know you're a shade match for me and you like the stuff that i choose color wise this one here is the lip bar quick conceal caffeine concealer I saw this drop and I was like, ooh, the lip bar has concealer. Let me go ahead and try that out. I have the shade Cinnamon 4.00. Um, it's a decent concealer. It does not have the amount of coverage that I like. It does sheer out a little bit more than I prefer. I do like the color because it adds a bit of brightening for me along with the coverage. Um, But... It doesn't give me as much coverage as I like because you guys know I have dark circles. My dark circles don't play. And when I use this for my dark, dark circles, I do kind of have to build it up. But yeah, it is a, it's a really nice concealer. I like the consistency of it. It's not too heavy. Blends out nice as you can see. But yeah, I do have to build this up for my dark circles, which I don't mind. But because Juvia's is my favorite, I'd rather just use one coat of Juvia's than two or three coats of this. <laughs> okay, moving on to powder. You guys know I've been using my DJ's Boutique Loose Powder ever since it dropped. And I know this is my girl. This is one of my besties. And this is her loose powder. And I love it. It's really, really good. I, you know, you guys are probably like, ah, oh, you're biased, KK. But honey, I ain't gonna use no trash on my face or on my channel. <laughs> not repeatedly you know so this powder is really really nice you guys should check it out um dj's unique boutique she has a lot of different things on her website for you guys to try makeup different type of jewelry just uh, makeup tools all kind of stuff um sponges you know palettes just everything so i do have a link i am affiliated you know like i said she is my girl but if you want to try her powder out, I would definitely suggest it. I've been using this, like I said, for quite a while and I love it. I like Honey. She does have a banana powder as well to try out. Haven't tried it yet. I do have that. I might actually pull that. But yeah, so I'm going to put this back so I can pull something else. But that powder is the bomb. For setting my face, I've been using this Full Spectrum Cover Girl. This is the Matte Ambition. Um, this is actually an all-day powder foundation, but I do use powder foundations to set my face. It does give me a little bit of added coverage. This one is Deep Neutral 2, and my first time trying it in this shop, my stash, this shade is really nice for me. Very, very nice shade. It does provide an extra amount of coverage. I like to test out powder foundations when I have on um, you know, liquid foundation and doesn't really cover all of my discoloration like around my mouth and my nose and stuff. I like to test out these powder foundations to see if they'll give me that additional coverage that I need for my discoloration. And this does. If I tap a little bit more of this around my mouth and nose and stuff like that, it definitely gives me that extra coverage. So yeah, I like this. I like it a lot. Now let's move on to the like um bronzers and contours and stuff that i pulled i don't know why'd you guys let me pull so many bronzers this time <laughs> i don't even remember pulling all of these but whatever oh and then i also have this finishing powder this is a finishing powder from elf that i forced myself to try out because i bought it and wanted to see you know if it would add anything extra to my face or make it look more smooth and kind of put together and actually i really really like it it's like you put it on it doesn't really seem like it's doing anything you know because it looks like it's just like an extra 
added um, setting powder, you know what I mean? But with it being a finishing powder, it is very, very light, airy. Um, it does just kind of help to smooth out everything and just pull everything together. So I do kind of like that. I really do. After you put on your blush and highlight and just everything and use a tiny bit of this on a large brush just to kind of pull everything together, it works out nicely. So like I said, this is from e.l.f. And this one is in Dark Deep. So if you want to try out a finishing powder, you know, this is an affordable one you can try. Okay, so back to the bronzers that I pulled. This bronzer is from I Heart Revolution. This is their coffee bronzer in the shade Mocha. I did pull this, tried it out for the first time. Really cute packaging, you know, looks like a nice little coffee with a design in it. But this is the shade. As you can see, very nice, rich beautiful color of bronzer for me and I like it. It's not like a heavy deep dark bronzer. If you just kind of like just like a light bronzing, something not too aggressive, then you might like this. If you're my shade or, you know, a little bit darker or whatever, you might like this cuz it does bronze nicely, but it's not too too dark or too too heavy. I like it. I think it's a nice, affordable bronzer. And I think Revolution is doing an excellent job with the bronzers that they've been coming out with and having deeper shades for your girl, okay? I also pulled this Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzer. This one is 06 Chocolate. This is the Cheeks Out. And this one is a little bit deep. So I kind of use this like as a, a bronzer slash contour, to be honest with you, when I want... You know something a little bit deeper a little bit darker if i want to bronze contour underneath my powder and stuff like that before i go in with a powder bronzer this is great for that but i really like this i like using it with a sponge because i can control it you know i just tap just a little bit blend it out and build it up as i like i don't have to worry about going in too too heavy like sometimes with a powder you can easily do so yeah, I really, really like this. I might actually keep this because I don't have that many cream bronzers um, to choose or to use, you know, whenever I want to use one. And I've kind of been, you know, kind of into the whole cream thing with blushes and bronzers and stuff and really trying them out and getting comfortable with them. So yeah, I think I might keep this just to have it in my drawer. I also have this Black Opal True Color. This is actually one of their um, foundation sticks. I talk about this all the time and, and never really use it. This one is in the shade Black Walnut. This is an excellent contour bronzer type stick if you like using sticks for you know your bronzer and contour and stuff. This works really, really nicely for that. And the color is really nice as well. Um, you know, for me, it's more of a contour, you know, type situation. It blends out really nicely. So am I going to keep this as well? This might be one of those things that I just keep in my drawer just for whenever I'm going to use it. So I'm going to just put this to the side to keep. But let me just show you how easily that blends out. You know, I'm just barely tapping it with my finger and you can see how easily that blends out. So if you're using a sponge or a brush, you know, not a problem at all. And it is a really, really nice contour shade. I know my rundowns can be a little bit lengthy. I apologize for that. I just really like to give you guys my thoughts and opinions on these products so that, you know, if you're curious about them or you're thinking about buying them yourself, you know, maybe you'll have a better idea of whether or not you actually want to purchase them just from you know, when I'm, my thoughts on them. So this is from the Lip Bar Face Palette. Love it. This one is, it says Vogue Minute Finish Face Palette. So as you can see, it has the blush, the bronzer, the highlight, the contour. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I know I've already said my girl DJ, um, she got this palette first and told me about it. And I was looking at it and I was like, mm, I don't know, it just looks like another face palette, but she really, really loved it. So I tried it out. I love it too. Every single thing in here works perfectly for my skin tone. I mean, perfectly. It shows up nicely. The blush, 
the highlight, the bronzer, the contour, everything in here works perfectly for my skin tone. And I love it. I really don't have anything else to say about it. If you are looking for an all-in-one face palette, you can even use this for eyeshadow as well, you know. So you can definitely use this as an all-in-one. I would suggest trying them out. The lip bar, really nice products. Okay, so let's move on to blush and highlight. So let's see here for blush. <laughs> I did try this J Cat Love Struck Blusher. It's like called a blusher bronzer. And this one is in the shade Put and Pop. When I first got this, you know, I don't know if you can see the little outline of the cat in there. The cat was shiny, shimmery, kind of like a highlight, a pink highlight, right? And of course it was an overspray because you can't see it anymore. Just little bits of it here and there. When I put it on my face the first time, I fell in love with that kind of like shimmery, highlighted cheek situation that I had going on with this blush. The color of the blush is beautiful. I'll just say that. And J Cat is very, very affordable. Okay, I might buy another one just so I can get the shimmery part again. But yeah, I hate the fact that that was just an overspray instead of it, the cat, the whole cat being shimmery because I love that look. It was so freaking pretty. And now, you know, it's just a regular matte blush, which it is a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. I will give it that. I'm not going to take that away from it. I don't know if you guys can see that. But yeah, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous shade of blush. It's beautiful. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. I'm, I'm more into like the kind of shimmery, highlighty blushes. Not too much though, because y'all know I'm up in age, so I can't be having my cheeks just out here shining. But I really, really like this. So this blush is bomb. Just even by itself, you know, as you can see, that color is beautiful. But I do miss that shimmery part that came off <laughs> when I first used it. But you can see it's nicely pigmented and beautiful. Next, I pulled this Moira Fiery Lover. This is a blushing goddess duo. And yeah, it's called Fiery Lover. Very affordable as well. Has these two shades in here. I only use this like once or twice. You know, they are very, you know, very affordable. Um, not expensive at all. As you can see, they're not as bold even as the J Cat, but you know, that's probably why it's not that memorable to me. The color is there, but it's very, very faint. Yeah, don't buy this. <laughs> it's it's pretty, but there's so many other more pigmented blushes that are less expensive or the same price. So yeah, I, I wouldn't suggest this. And lastly for blush, this palette from e.l.f. that I completely forgot about. This is a cream blush palette and I just ordered some more blush, cream blushes from e.l.f. which, you know, I don't regret because I want to try them out. But yeah, I pulled this palette and totally forgot about it. I fell so in love with the lip bar all over face palette that I totally forgot that I even had this in my shop my stash to use. <laughs> so I'm going to keep this in my shop my stash because I do want to use it for sure. Gorgeous, beautiful cream blushes. Oh my gosh, it's so, so pretty. So yeah, I'm going to force myself to use this. I'm going to keep this for now. Highlight. Okay, I did pull this J Cat Golden Soleil Baked Bronzer to highlight with. Um... Honey, I listen, I don't care what it's called or what it's supposed to be for. If it looks like a highlighter to me, I'm going to use it as a highlight. <laughs> so this is Cancun Golden Tan. Okay. Very, very pretty. And this is gorgeous. If you like a nice, light, beautiful, subtle highlighter, just give you that kind of like golden vacation, you know, bronze type of look. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, it is so pretty and you know, you can build it up so you can do just a little or you can do more. You see gorgeous, but yeah, this is J cat. Very affordable. I got it from Ulta. Really pretty. I like this for those subtle or not so subtle highlight days. Next, I pulled this melt. Um, this is one of their digital duos. This is queen B. 
Um, yeah. So this is supposed to be a blush, of course, for me. This is a highlighter, not a blush. These are way more subtle than I ever could have imagined. <laughs> for some reason, I thought these were going to be so blinding and they're really not. They are, they're really not. They are very subtle and that's probably because they are supposed to be like blush, I guess, for more fair tone people. But as highlight, you know, it's just a nice, soft, subtle highlight. So since it basically looks the same as like the J-Cat bronzer, which was just a couple of bucks, compared to this Melt, which who knows how much I paid for this. Yeah, just get you the J-Cat. You don't need to pay all that money for the same type of look. You know, you really, really don't. Let me see. This is the... Let me swatch this... Uh j cat next to these just so we can kind of see you know the difference so the j cat is on the bottom and this is the melt so yeah it's like the melt has a little bit more sheen to it but in reality honey you ain't gotta spend all that money just save you some coin okay <laughs> Now, I've had this Maybelline Lash Discovery Mascara in my Shot My Stash for months now. Just because the wand is so teeny tiny, I really like, you know, how small it is. It's perfect for the lower lashes. So, this is something that I really just keep in my drawer and is just there for whenever I want to use it. So, I'm going to keep this. I also have this Pure Fully Charged that I did throw in my stash as well. This is a really nice mascara you guys it is it's not anything like extraordinary or phenomenal or anything but it's pretty nice it's decent it's a little bit drier than i like though i did notice that it it is it's a little bit drier not as loose of a mascara that i would like so if you don't like something that's a little bit more dry you probably wouldn't like this so i'm gonna put that back I did pull the Fenty Beauty. This is a little sample that I got from Sephora in one of my orders, and I wanted to try this out. Have not tried it yet, so I'm going to keep this so that I can try it this upcoming month. This is what this one looks like. I don't know if you can see that, but that's what that looks like. Um, it looks interesting. So, yeah, it's kind of big, a little large. So, yeah, I'm going to keep this so I can try it out. And lastly, for my complexion, I did pull my Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. Um, I don't even know how much I use this, quite honestly. I used my Rose Spray and my Watermelon Spray because I did a lot of refreshing more so than setting, I think, for my makeup this go around. So I don't even think I use this a lot, maybe one or two times just to kind of set everything in place. But this is a, a very, very good setting spray. Excellent drugstore setting spray, and it works. It claims 16-hour wear. I don't know about that, but I know that it does hold my makeup in place. So I do like this, but I'm going to put that back. Okay, you guys, I've been doing terrible when it comes to editing and uploading my makeup videos. <laughs> you can find pictures of eye looks and stuff that I've done on Instagram, but I probably have about four good makeup videos that I need to edit and get up. I'm going to get better this week, maybe next week, but I just wanted to run through the palettes that I did use during this shop my stash i did play with this violet voss see you later palette um just quickly yeah very very cute palette very pretty color story not the best <laughs> not the best the shimmers are nice i will say that the shimmers are really nice the mattes i had issues with the mattes pigmentation is not that great blendability a little patchy um, just not my favorite formula to work with and I don't know if it's because these mattes are supposed to be like a lighter not so deep dark version of these shades but yeah I really didn't enjoy using the mattes out of this palette but the shimmers are really pretty so I would just say you know purchase at your own risk if you do like the shimmers because there are a lot of shimmers in here that are pretty 
but the mattes, not so much. This Ace Beauty Paradise Fallen, I've had this for a long time. I've had this ever since it came out. Um, I really like this palette. I like it because it gives you like the darker versions of purples and plums to use. Very deep, dark kind of color story in here, and I really like it. Very nice for fall. Formula, really, it's pretty good. I like Ace Beauty or Ace Beauté, you know. Some of their palettes are a little bit hit, a little bit miss, but all the ones that I have, for the most part, I actually really, really like. So, yeah, I like this palette. I did use this for a couple of looks when I was playing around with my singles. So, yeah, I enjoyed this palette as well. I did do a look using this Beauty Bay Fiery 42 Color Palette. Um, <laughs> this one I did edit and get up. There's a large mirror in this palette, too, if you're into that kind of thing. But, yeah, this is what this palette looks like. Just your basic, huge, warm, neutral tone palette. Really, really like it a lot. I had a good time using this. Nicely pigmented. The shadows blended out easily. The shimmers are pretty as well. So, yeah, I really enjoyed this palette. Looking forward to using more Beauty Bay palettes because I was pleasantly surprised by this one. Next, I have here this Too Faced Mariel Amor Caliente palette. I did play around with this. I do have this up on my channel. I like this palette. It's a very specific palette, though. That's the only thing I don't like about it is I'll probably never grab this again until Valentine's Day. <laughs> but just the whole vibe and feel of it. You know, it is a collab palette. So I tend to feel like with collab palettes, brands... um formula gets a little bit better if you know what I mean but yeah I I enjoyed using this palette created a very pretty look and I didn't have any issues with this so yeah I like it like it a lot I did do a look using this Pat McGrath um Midnight Sun palette as well I have that up on my channel too I believe and it was just you know y'all know I'm not typically neutral, basic kind of, you know, everyday <laughs> palette type of chick, but I have been kind of, you know, venturing over and trying out more not so bold, bright, colorful looks. And so I did want to go ahead and play with this palette. I have, you know, quite a few Pat McGrath palettes in my collection because I do like her formula and her color stories do i think that they are worth the price no i feel like you're really paying more for the name and the brick that it comes in but her formula is really really nice her mattes are nice shimmers are amazing specialties are amazing but since i'm not really into like that topper shade type thing or subtle shimmers all that much you know it doesn't really call to me but I did create a pretty look with this. I enjoyed it. I liked it. So yeah, it was it was nice. And lastly, we'll just kind of go through some of the single shadows that I've been playing with. This is one of my Adept Cosmetics magnetic palettes for their single shadows. You can put any single shadows in here you want, of course. I love these palettes. They're very nice, sturdy, heavy duty, very luxurious, very, very luxurious. I just put, you know, give me glow on here so I'll know exactly what's in here. <laughs> so this is my give me glow shadows. I'll just give you guys a quick little peek so you can see some of the shadows that I have from give me glow. If I can open this up, there we go. So these are, you know, basically my give me glow shadows. This is some of them. This is not all of them actually. This is um, most of my shimmers and just a few of my mattes. And for Give Me Glow, you know, they make palettes as well. So since I like to have all of my singles and or all of my shadows from a brand in one place, I do take my shadows out of their palettes and put them into my single <laughs> singles palettes. So you'll see some shadows in here from the Juicy Olive or from the Grunge palette or from the Christmas palette. They're all in with my Give Me Glow singles because I like all my stuff in one place and I, you know, so I can use it. 
but I did play around with those. I also played around with some of my Sydney Grace. You see, I have this little ghetto sticker here that says Sydney Grace on it. <laughs> but I did play around with some of my Sydney Grace. And these are my Sydney Grace shadows. Okay, absolutely gorgeous. Sydney Grace, Give Me Glow, amazing formulas. I don't even have to get into it because if you know, then you know. Their formulas are amazing. I also played around with, move this stuff out the way, um, some of my JD Glow. I have JD Glow and Clarity in here. And these are my shadows from JD Glow and Clarity. So as you can see, I have quite a bit of their shadows, really beautiful, bright, bold colors. And I love every single one of them. <laughs> every single one of them I love so yeah and then lastly I really really had fun with some of my Davina shadows so yeah these are the shadows that I have from Davina as you can see I'm still building up my collection I don't have that many um shadows I did order actually I'm waiting for that last bundle of multi-chromes that they just came out with so I can't wait to get those and play with them but yeah these um oh my gosh these gorgeous dual and multi-chromes up there and this was my first time playing around with um some of their mattes and I know I use the black the green this lighter green this brown so yeah playing around with some of the mattes very, very nice. I don't think the mattes are as amazing as the shimmers, but they're decent mattes. You know what I mean? They're decent. So yeah, playing around with those. So those are basically the eyeshadows that I was using during this latest Shop My Stash. So now let's go and pick some new items. Y'all want to see hubby working in the yard? He'll kill me if he knows that I have this in my video. <laughs> <laughs> my dog is out there somewhere but yeah it's been crazy windy so pool guys out there dogs roaming around hubby's cleaning but yeah okay so let's go ahead and pick out some items so let's come over here you guys know i like to pick out a primer and serum and moisturizer so <sighs> There's actually a primer that I purchased not too long ago. Here it is. This Milani Prime and Protect. I have not tried this one out yet. It has SPF 30. And yeah, I want to try it. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this for my primer. Now I'm just going to move down a little bit. Um, looking for a serum I'm in the process of kind of going through this whole little rotating thing and moving stuff around because as you can see it's full and so I need to <laughs> get it together so uh, you know what serum actually I was thinking about using this Murad this is the rapid age spot and pigment lighting serum I haven't tried this yet got this in a subscription box and I want to try it out. It looks nice and thick, actually. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pull this. And um, for a setting spray, I haven't really been wanting to be super matte right now. So I do want something that's going to give me a bit of kind of moisture and glow. This is from Skin & Co. What is this? aqua illuminate truffle therapy illuminating skin refresh mist hmm radiant dew that sounds good that sounds like just what i'm looking for right now <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna use this and plus i don't know how long this stuff lasts so i'm gonna try and get some use out of this but i do also want to pull an actual setting spray because you know i want something that's gonna hold but not be too, too drying. Mm. Uh, hurry up, KK. Just pick something. What is this? Olay Hydration Essence. NYX Bear With Me. 
that's a prime and prep how would I just do ABH Dewey set because you know this is definitely not mattifying and I really like this stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this as well okay so now I need a moisturizer and I have some moisturizers that I kind of stuck in here I had them set up but I'm really going through the process of trying to rearrange things so I have stuff just kind of put in strange places um this one here I actually really really want to try I got this from the boxy add-on I think this is the Osei atmosphere protection cream hmm I really really do want to try this so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this uh, as my moisturizer I was thinking about doing the Juno and Co but it's pretty thick yeah it's pretty thick so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and try this and if I don't like it then I'll just switch it out okay let's grab a foundation right quick hmm what am I in the mood for I haven't used this Milani Screen Queen in a while, I don't think. I really, really enjoyed this foundation when it came out. So that is a maybe. Um, gosh, this is my original Too Faced. As you can see here, this one is almost done, actually. Should I finish this up? Hmm. Maybe I should finish that up. This is a maybe. Okay, um, it's pretty fresh. I'm really tempted to pull that because I really, really like this stuff. You wouldn't think that I would, but I really, really do because it is buildable and it's very lightweight, very natural coverage. Hubby actually said he really likes that. Um, ABH, Becca. Uh, come on, pick a foundation, woman. I think I am. I think I'm going to play around with this Milani Screen Queen um, and see if I still really like it. You know how you like something when you use it and then you go back and you're like, eh. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pull this as well. Okay, let's take a look at concealers. Hmm. You know, you guys, I have so many. Obviously, drugstore concealer is my thing. I try out higher end concealers and it's like, I don't know, drugstore is just, they're just fine to me, you know. Um, I just used the Fenty, this Tarte, I actually bought during the Ulta sale. I've never been a Tarte user and I know it has like a cult following. Um, maybe I should play around with this because I bought it during the sale for half price just to kind of see, you know, like. Will I like it? So yeah, I'm going to pull this. What color do I have? Looks like Deep Sand. Yeah, is that 53S? Deep Sand. So yeah, I'm going to pull this. Yeah, and I think I'll just pull that and if I don't like it, then I'll pull something else. Okay, blush. Um, I've really, really been buying too much blush lately, you guys. Like seriously. I got this little duo from e.l.f., this bite-sized face duo. Which one is this? Pomegranate? Hmm. I mean, it's cute. Should I try this? Yeah, I'll try this because I haven't tried it yet. So, I'll pull this. Y'all know I always have to have multiple blushes. So, since I really, really am into like that shimmery kind of situation, I'm going to pull this from e.l.f. as well. What is this? radiant peach Ooh, that sounds pretty okay yeah i'm gonna pull this as well and then maybe one that's a little bit deeper a little bit darker you know for the season let me see i'm gonna have to use both hands okay so i'll pull this one from folklore 06 because this one is kind of like you know like a darker mulberry type shade Ooh, that's pretty and it has that shimmer in there blush topper Yes, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this and remember I still have those cream that cream blush quad from elf to use So that should be enough for blush. Okay, so for highlight I went ahead and I pulled out this new Mac Highlighter from their holiday collection. 
This one is called Flare for the Dramatic. I know it's upside down. <laughs> but yeah, it's called Flare for the Dramatic Extra Dimension Skin Finish. I have not really purchased MAC products. This is like maybe the second or third MAC product that I've ever purchased. And I just could not resist. It's so, so gorgeous. So... Yeah, I'm going to pull this and use it. It's so pretty. Y'all know I always have to pull more than one highlight. Oh, did I use that Nick K? I don't know. Mm. Uh, let me see. Maybe I should use this. This is a glow palette that I got from GLF, I believe. Yeah, GLF Cosmetics. And I want to try it out. It has some of the pretty colored... If I can open this back up. It has some of the pretty colored highlighters in there as well. Yes, 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 yes. When I swatched it, it looked doable. So I'm going to pull this and check it out. Okay, you guys, let's take a look at uh, bronzers. Now, I have this in my bronzer drawer. This is the Tinted Face Oil from Kosas that Boxy sent me. It was missing out of my box, so of course I had to request it um, because they forgot it. This is the shade 09 in this Tinted Face Oil. Let me show you what this looks like on me. Okay, you guys, so this is the shade... <laughs> of this tinted face oil that boxy sent me obviously it is not my color not my shade so i threw it in here with my bronzers because i'm like well maybe i can blend it out and make it look like you know a mild bronzer or something but i don't know because it's kind of it's kind of oily, you know? I mean, I and I, that was just a drop of it. So, I don't know. But that's why this is in here. Just because <laughs> boxy strikes again. Okay, so I did already play with this Beauty Bay bronzer. This one is Chestnut. So, I did play with this and I actually like it. This is a really, really good bronzer for me. You can see the color through the uh, cap see if I can open it okay oh one-handed action okay <sighs> yeah anyway so yeah it's a this is a really nice bronzer on my skin tone the chestnut I did not play around with this shade which is button and I grabbed this to use as a contour and I have not played around with this yet so I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull this just to use it over my cream contour so yeah I'm gonna pull this and this one is button um and I do want to try this out from soul body this is their face and body bronzing balm in the shade deep and you can actually see it here through the container so I've never used a bronzing balm before so I am going to pull this this is brand new you'll probably see this in my haul if my haul is already up or not but yeah I'm going to pull this and check it out it's like a cream you know okay I think that's enough for bronzing let's take a look at some powders oh you know what you guys I have really been wanting to try this out I got this a long time ago this is from Revolution this is the dimension it's like a face palette let me open it up I know I've already shown this one before, but I haven't used it. I've only swatched it in you guys. This palette, oh, it's swatched so beautifully. So yeah, I think I'm going to pull this also. I know I'll be pulling too much stuff, y'all. I can't help it, but I'm going to pull this as well. This is really, really pretty. Okay, let me pick some powders so I can get out of here and quit, <laughs> quit farting around. Um... You know what? I kind of want to um I kind of want to use my J Cat this week. I love this stuff. This is the Aquasurance Compact Foundation. 
you guys this stuff is bomb i was so bummed when i cracked it you can see there that i cracked it and i actually bought me another one don't trip <laughs> but yeah i love this powder so yeah i'm gonna pull this again because i haven't used it in a while and i really really like it i have espresso this stuff is really good and let me find a loose powder um you know, I bought this Too Faced uh, Translucent Caramelized Peach. Maybe I should try that because I haven't even tried it. You can see it's still in the box and everything. This is so pretty. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Yes, I'm going to pull this and try this out. So this is what I'm going to use to set under my eyes and my highlighted areas, you know. Very nice. Peach Perfect Mattifying Loose Setting Powder translucent caramelized peach i'm excited to try this i am so let's check this out you guys and see if we like it okay you guys so now that i've pulled all of my complexion products i did go ahead and select what palettes i want to use during this shop my stash um i do have some singles from my adept cosmetics palette adept cosmetics has a uh, vast array of really really gorgeous single shadows and so this is a palette that I actually pulled for you know some fall shades to play around with I really really like these colors this color scheme together I feel like there's some beautiful fall tones as well as you know pops of color in there that I can play with so I did go ahead and create my own palette to use from my adept cosmetic shadows if you're not following me on Instagram, definitely follow me on Instagram because I do post pictures of makeup for my collection, swatches, eye looks, things like that. I did post this on my Instagram along with what the shade names are and swatches. So yeah, this I'm going to be playing with during this shop, my stash. I also have this Urban Myth palette. This is from Black Moon Cosmetics. Just got this not too long ago, maybe about a week ago or so, and I've been meaning to do a video, just haven't gotten around it. But look at this palette, you guys. Isn't it gorgeous? So pretty. And these are the shades in this palette. Beautiful. So, so pretty. So yeah, I'm going to play with this as well. Most likely I'll be doing a video for this one. I also pulled my LA Girl Break Free palette. This one, is that the name of it? No, it's called This Is Me. They came out with two. They are typically coming out with two palettes like this whenever they drop one. This has been out for maybe a month or two and I had never got around to using it. I said I wanted to use it back when I first got it and never did. I think these purples are gorgeous. Another kind of like cool tone purple palette. This reminds me a lot of that Ace Beauté palette that I just used. It just doesn't go quite as deep, but this is really pretty and I really like LA Girl shadows. So I went ahead and pulled this. I also pulled this palette that Beauty Bay just released. This one is called, what is it? The Book of Magic. So yeah, they just released this and <laughs> I definitely want to use this. Hopefully I'll get around to doing a video for this as well. If you guys are interested, let me know. But yeah, I really, really love these blues and purples. So I did go ahead and pull this for my shop, my stash as well. Also, <laughs> yeah, don't be so shocked, okay? I did go ahead and grab this Stone Cold Fox palette from ColourPop. I mean, even though you guys, I love colorful palettes bright bold colorful looks i do like to have a nice well-rounded makeup collection so i will buy neutral palettes you know cool tones warm tones and stuff just to play around with them you know as i see fit and to try them out i'm curious about all kinds of makeup not just colorful makeup so let me know if you want to see a look with this. I mean, I'm going to play with it either way. But yeah, I got this palette as well. I thought it was really pretty. It kind of has like a pink vibe to it, even though it's very cool tone. It does have a little bit of a pink, like baby pink vibe to it as well. So yeah, pulled that. 
I also pulled my Glam Light. This is the Ice Cream Dream. Yeah, Ice Cream Dream. <laughs> I love this. It's so cute. Look at the sprinkles. Look at them. It's so cute. <laughs> but yeah, you guys know Glam Light has some really beautiful palettes. Very, very nice formula. And this palette in particular looks like it has like some really bomb shimmers so i think that's really what has me kind of like curious about this palette aside from the beautiful kind of pastel type shades these shimmers look amazing okay so yeah really really interested in trying this out and lastly i pulled this bh cosmetics naughty palette this is one of their i don't know if this is their holiday palette or just one of them but this is the naughty palette and yeah i really like this color scheme i do i really really do i don't know why i just do <laughs> so yeah i like um just the warmth and the depth in here and it really does just give me a feel of like a christmas day a christmas morning whether it be the presents under the tree you know, decorations around the house, the meal on the table, sweaters that you might be wearing that day. This whole color scheme just gives me that like Christmas holiday type vibe. So yeah, I'm really feeling it. So I want to play with this. So yeah, pull that as well. Okay, you guys. So these are all my Shop My Stash items that I pulled this go around. Hopefully I'll have a lot of fun and enjoy playing around with these products for the next month or so. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below if you have any thoughts about these products or if you've used some of them already. Let your girl know what to expect, okay? So thanks for watching you guys and I will see you on the next one. Toodles!